Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more control as part of our Sunday fun day playlist. And last time we came here to the warehouse and uh, we need to complete the ritual. So let's get into it. Aha. Okay. Right. Also, last time we did visit the collapsed department as well, but uh, we couldn't get through the door. Now, I've been a little bit sneaky. Well, not sneaky, but um, I have investigated how on earth we're supposed to do that and now I know how to get through the door. That's as far as I've gone. I've not done anything further. I've just looked into how do we open the door because it was slow in our progress. And I don't like that. We need to progress. Ah. Ah. Okay, what's this? Ooh. More law. I like the law. History of the oldest house. Oh, wow. On the history of the oldest house. The oldest house has revealed much to me during my months in the foundation, but many questions remain. Primarily, the tree etchings bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime, as I theorised, then was a tree its first form? Are they talking about the tree in the, uh, like, was it investigations department? I can't remember. I sent a team to the Schwartzman building in search of pre-settled accounts of Manhattan Island. From those, I discovered a single relevant line. And there I found a tree not known to me, the devil twisted within its bark. That line, taken with the fact that certain American cultures believe that some trees would offer wisdom and guidance, is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence. And though I am now bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees. Yidrasil, the tree of knowledge. Yax imix che. Sorry if I am mispronouncing that. Some cultures offered blood sacrifices to trees, while others claimed trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murders act as a sacrifice for the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is it me? Hmm. I wonder who wrote that. Probably, um... What's his name? The Professor. I can't even remember his name now. But, hmm, we'll see, I suppose. Anything else in here? What? 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 I'm just, just, just gonna walk away. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Anything else in here? Ooh. Pyramid. Pyramid. Pyramidic geometry. Ooh. On the pyramid and geometry. I've been going through my library researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does relate to the board as Northmore says, then perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three-part concepts – past, present, future, mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also implies multiple parts. Upright triangles in Judeo-Christian imagery indicate ascent into the rational-slash-divine realm. Inverted, it signifies a descent into the corporeal-slash-human. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine, Adam and Eve. That's just a bit of old world patriarchy. It's 1964 now, we're well past all that silliness. Whoo, dude. Considering the above, what does the inverted triangle tell us about the board? They're clearly not corporeal or human. Perhaps they wish to be, or they once were. The likeliest answer is simply that theological imagery cannot help us define alien entities. But still, the pyramid seems significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. I hope y'all don't mind me reading the law, but I, I like to sort of... I like to read it because it gives you a bit of a background to the story and I think you, you learn a lot more from it, to be honest. I know some people don't like it and I know some YouTubers don't even bother reading the uh, the law, which I don't like. <laughs> What's this? Is this a bureau ID badge? It looks yeah. so old. Ooh. Hope will definitely want to see this. Anything else here? No. Alright, let's um, look at this thing. This is obviously the, the warehouse, but, I mean... Ah. Can we not get in here? No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe around the other side? Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so there's an elevator or lift, however you want to call, call it. Is that a investigations major, major target? Excuse me, major major targets. I forgot how to speak. Hmm. Aha! Another one. Weird place to leave an ID card, but okay. I mean, not really, Jesse. It's a table. That's not weird. If they'd have left it, I don't know, hanging in a toilet system, then I'd understand, but... Okay. So what's through here? Crossroads. But what part of the crossroads? Can we open this? Oh, we can look! Hey! We will go back to the warehouse in a moment. I just want to have a sip. Oh, okay. Hello. Oops. Alright, so it says this leads to the crossroads, but ah, just round the back of the crossroads there looks a bit. I don't think we can actually get through there. Oh, can we? Hey, nope. Invisible wall. <laughs> so, okay, oh, another recording. Well, let's listen. 28 days now spent inside what we're calling the oldest house. Northmore insists on the name. I'm too tired to ask why. I'm not sleeping well. Oh dear. Per orders, me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the Foundation. I basically live down here now. Like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The work was half-hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Ley lines, dragon roads, Heiligalinian, call them what you want. <laughs> but this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something. Equal parts talisman and technology. An array that can impose order on the ley junctions. That's the idea, at least. We'll see when I'm done. I prefer to work away from the pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes. Ooh. Interesting. Ash has had some of these very interesting kind of recordings in this. It's very, um... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. it seems he was just kind of a... You know, a puppet. Oh, hey, power cell. Can we can we have that? Can I have that, please? Can I have that? I can have that. Can I have it? Um. Okay, there you go. I can have it. So, okay. Um. Power core storage. Uh, yeah. I wonder what we need all these power cores for, if we need a lot of them. Wow. Whoa. I wonder what they store here. Ah, hello. Power cores, here we go. On the invention of the power core. After numerous attempts, I have finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy of the ley lines into a kind of non-Aristotelian battery I've dubbed the power core. I admit it was difficult capturing an energy I could barely measure, much less interact with. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the Foundation's caverns possess such conductive qualities. Using stone flakes and copper wire, my power cores collect significant power. My early prototypes collected too much, in fact, but I've since reinforced the container. We don't yet know the repercussions of tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy sources. It's my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an interest in invention. I like the creativity that it allowed, set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics. 
father never approved, calling it a mundane science. With that in mind, I dedicate this invention to Theodore Ash Sr. May he scowl in peace. <laughs> so Ash is the one who's been leaving all these notes. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of power cores. Holy. Holy, that's a lot of power cores. Is there only one live one, though? Looks like it. Oh, no, there's, there's a live one there. Let's see. Can I have that one, please? No. That one. That one. That's the one I want, please. Should we take a spare? I suppose. Take the spare one. I want the one in the corner. Thank you. Let's put that in there. And go. Uh, tunnel access? Okay. I don't know whether we can use this. Maybe. Or maybe we need to use it? Tuck it with us? Well, it's allowing us to keep it, so that's a bonus, isn't it? Hmm. Put it down here. Okay. Uh, right, so I'm assuming we need to get in here somehow. Uh, oh, what's this? Entry day plus 51. Northmore has ordered an all-hands search for objects similar to the service weapon. He claims there are more in the house. Mm. Though I don't see how he's so certain. He's been strange lately. Talking about joining greater causes and frequently mentioning the pyramid. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, black, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other id have shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. Surely there's a connection. I don't see it yet. As far as occult symbols go, triangles are by no means rare. Flood, Levi, Kroll, they used that shape like it was going out of fashion. Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. Inverted on their points, they represent conflict and stagnation. Oh dear. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one, from above another. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? Hmm. Or is he actually standing over it, looking down, and just doesn't realise that he is? I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it. But hey! Never mind. God, this place is, is massive, isn't it? Uh, Alright, so what's... Oh, okay. Oh, I see where we are. So, do we need to get up there somehow? Oh, we should be able to, actually. There you go. Aha. Set me down. Ooh. I what I'm to find up here. It's very bright. It's ever so bright. More crystals. Oh, hello. The control point. Let's cleanse it. Some more of those. It is! Look at that, eh? Clever girl. <laughs> Energy bit. Well, we don't. Only level okay. Only level three, anyway. <laughs> In fact, what we will do while we're here is have a look at our abilities. Oh, we've only got one, which we're pretty. Uh, we're pretty good on anyway. Okay. Okay. Spiky floor. That means there's going to be trouble, I imagine. At least we've got a forklift we can throw. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, there you go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Easy now. Let's get him over to the spiky floor. Quick. Ahaha. Get out. You missed, bro. I like the spiky floor. The spiky floor is really, really cool. What's this? Sorry, I didn't get a chance to read that. What is it? Health launch recovery? That might be handy. It might be handy. Hold on. Eh, uh, personal mods it'll be, won't it? Oh my god, my personal mods are very full. We'll do away with that, and we'll do away with that. They're only level three and not massively useful, I imagine. Okay. There we go. Launch health recovery. I am very curious now. So that's a health boost. That's launch efficiency, and that's a although I like our health boosts. They seem to keep us pretty much at full health. It's quite good, really. If you get the right combination. Jesse, let's go. Who should I be listening to? Weird entity A or B? <laughs> or neither. Let's just stay the course for now. The Bureau's in danger. We know we need to repair the nail. The astral plane won't break reality on my watch. No. No, it bloody well won't. Go and oh, that was a bit weird. What was that weird noise? I like weird noises. Okay, another cleansing point. All these stacked rocks. Oh, okay, I mean they're not stacked anymore. That's fine. The uh, spiky floor, which is awesome. I love a spiky floor. Whole rock to the face.
Brilliant. Oh, what's up here? Now I've got to know. Oh. A whole heap of nothing. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time, but never mind. Uh, danger, open pit. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's an open pit. All right. Oh, my God. Do you, whoa, Jesse. Do you suppose we could go over there? Maybe we should check this out first. See what's here. In fact, let's look at our map here. I think it all circles round anyway. Mm. Okay. Where's our next point? We could just make it. Okay. Hearing a lot of. What is that? Weird. That's what that is. Weird. Ah. Can't get it from in here. Oof. Oof. Okay. the lift. <sighs> oh yeah, there you go. Very sneaky. Hmm. Okay. get rid of that one. Maybe the other way would have allowed us to to do that. Okay, let's um, cheese it back over here. Do you think we'll make it? Looks like we made it. Oh, easy, easy. Whoop. Jesse, here we go. Oh, look at that. Note. Grab these. Launch efficiency. Love it. Okay, what's this? Foundation etchings. <clears throat> On the four etchings, my exploration of the foundation has resulted in yet another mystery. A fascinating series of etchings on large stone tablets. The tablets themselves are likely not native to the foundation seeing as they are slabs of sedimentary stone, quite different from the cave's categorization-defying rock. Their placement and form are also too intentional to be naturally occurring. But who braved this place to carry them in? And for what purpose? I discovered a five-point macro-entanglement between the tablets, with the pillar at its centre. These links seem to extend beyond our level of consciousness to some astral realm I can't detect. Is Northmore's board somehow tied to all this? The etchings on these tablets are similarly curious. They differ from the cave paintings in style and technique, so are clearly not of the same origin. Are they the visual narration of some event? Or do they indicate intent? A wish? A plan? They only seem to consist of a tree and the pillar, but the sizes of either are inconsistent. What does that signify? I'm missing key pieces of this puzzle, and it's unlikely I'll ever find them. Hmm. So, can we... what the hell? Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get the lift this way. Really, we need that power cell. I will have to get that. Okay. Oh, it's dark in here. Good grief. 
I think we left the other power core on level 3, didn't we? So if we get that power core, we can bring it up and use it. Whoa! Launch it in there! We did it. We actually bloody well did it. Okay, let's, let's just, 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 just put this down. Call the lift. Stupid bloody whatever it's called. Goop! Come on, lift. Ah, here it is, here it is, here it is. Brilliant. Aha! We freaking did it, baby. Well, how do we get in these? Resistance. Oh, okay. So now can we... Ah! So, okay. So we need to go to the upper elevator floor. Did we get rid of it? Did we do it? Oh, oh, oh! What the hell? My god, it's everywhere. I can't help but feel that we need to clear that. And maybe we should try? I know there's a lot of it, but I don't know. I just I just feel that we should. Maybe... Yeah. The warehouse. Okay, let's have a little look around here. <sighs> hmm. All right. <gasps> another, another There's pillar. The edging. Yep. Let's just have a little look around, shall we? Okay. Oh my god, that is a long drop. This is kind of cool, though, isn't it? Kind of cool. All right. Okay, we all kind of knew that. What the hell was that thing? <sighs> okay, well. Try again, shall we? Good God. Are we allowed in this time? Oh, we are. Our recent confrontation slash yelling was in error. We decided, determined you may both, you may have both tools upgrades, only because you are the favourite current director. Do not listen. Speak to the former. You are welcome. Grateful. Interesting. They don't want us to talk to the former. Why? Is the former going to tell us something? Do you suppose? Maybe. Might do. Busted all the all the crystal. Oh. Is it damaged underneath? Yep. We are nearly whole. Your trust synergy is appreciated. They changed their tune all of a sudden. Yeah, that's curious, isn't it? Don't know how I feel about that. You're a bunch of dodgy beggars. You're up to no good, and I know it. sort out their own business so long as it doesn't get in my way. Obsessing over these problems is something Trench would do, but I've got my intuition. And you. True, Polaris is always with us, and we appreciate that. Right, well... <sighs> right, we're back here. 
Okay, so I believe if we uh, get this light, there should be a. Oh! Crumbs. Section with a panel where it says power cores. And you have to obviously rip off the panel to access the power cores. Oh crumbs, I left my light behind. Well, never mind, whatever. We'll be fine. Right, so if we go across here... Power cores, here we are. So, if anybody else has ever played this and gotten stuck, do is take these power core panels off. Clear the route, clear all this crap out of the way, and then there you go, power cores galore. And then these have to go in. Let me put this down. Oops. So basically just trash it down. There. How was all that? And that resumes the altered item transport. So now we can go back over here. And uh, carry on! There you go. I don't know whether we have to have to go in there. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, so wasn't massively obvious that, so um, I'm not going to worry too much about it. No material detected in area. There you go. Oh, well, thank you so much. Have a bureau full day. We're doing that. Go have a friend. Do. do you know it seems everywhere we go we just create a mess and it's not good really is it <laughs> but never mind so okay we've we've let this thing go through here are we supposed to have followed it or something do you suppose or Andy, smash. We're in. Aha. So, stairs. More stairs. Uh, okay, a corridor. Hmm. Well, transit access. So, that's how we get to where that is. Let's just have a little peep. Just down here. Oh. Oh. We'll open this because that takes us back out there. That's fine. Perfect. Back in this way. So that goes down. Where does this go? Into an office where there's an elevator. The room, bathroom here. Oh, okay, a lot of a lot of crystals and gems. And stuff. Okay. What's this? Okay, okay, that's Today a bit of I want to talk about a new film I found at Movie Night. That's nice. 
the mecca for VHS aficionados in the greater Dallas area. Yeehaw! The movie is called Delivery Disaster. <laughs> we open in media red. A mail comes full of packages down in uh, an endless American neighborhood as a pack of rabid dogs chase behind. Now, these dogs are nothing like my mom's, my stepmom's, or the stuff. real nightmare hellhounds. The dogs keep pace with the mail truck, tearing chunks out of the driver's legs and arms. Each package he throws out the door is marked by a bloody handprint. He screams in pain sure and confusion, like and this goes on and on until the movie just abruptly ends. There aren't even any credits, which is a pretty bold choice. Is this film a commentary on how our 9 to 5 jobs are killing us, or how hostile the modern world is to outdated concepts like mailmen? Perhaps it's merely a statement about the futility of purpose and how no task can ever be really done. There are lots of ways to interpret uh -huh. it, but for now, let's get to the part you're all waiting for. It's score time! Score. <laughs> I give this film a 4 out of 5, only because the actor frequently broke the fourth wall by looking into the camera and shouting at it, like he was shouting at the audience. A little too on the nose for me, but I did enjoy it, and I recommend you check out other films produced by Blessed Pictures. Bike Hard and Coffee Bullet are the only others I found, but this little art house studio certainly knows how to push the boundaries of Western cinema. And a friendly reminder that there will be no new episode next week, as I will be visiting my aunt in Delaware for Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening, all you Brian fans, and remember, we all love movie magic, but don't forget about the you magic. Until next time, movie day. Brian's movie day. I think Brian might be a few uh, plates shy of a dinner set, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, never, uh, never mind, eh? That's just bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Anything else in any of these? No. Well, I don't feel like my time was wasted. <laughs> Oh jeez. Now the question is, do we take the lift, sector C lobby, or should we go down the stairs? Let's go down and just see if we can get through here. Transit exit. Oh, another lift. Properly trained. Guess I pass. I am very properly trained. All right, Jesse. Well, okay. Let's go then. See what's down here. Or, oh, are we going up or down? I, I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. Once we get there. Oh, this is a little spooky. Hello. The projector. Um. Why does it look so bloody on ominous? I remember that camera. Oh, it's a camera. How the hell did it get out? Are they his shooting movies now? We cleanse it. What? What in the world is going on now? Oh! Swift platform. What? I mean, okay. After that camera and step on it. Jesse Faden starring in Swift Platform. Oh my god. So, do we have to do anything or? This just a okay. Um. Oh God. Oh. Oh. But what the? Are we meant to be? Ah! I see. I see. I see. I see. No. 
Oh god. Okay. This is a little weird. Oh god. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh! It's nice that it doesn't do you in. Oh! Oh god. Where's, where's, where's the other, where's the other platform gone? Okay. Oh! Okay. I don't know where the, what the hell? Oh, it's there. something we can do to help this? Is that a hit? You could lose oh, it's a camera. Okay, it's the, the camera. Okay, now we've got it. So the camera, like, oh my god, this is just wow. Did we do it? Oh, it's run away again. Well, God bless it. I mean, it's quite a funky little sequence, isn't it? Okay. We're alright, we're alright. We've got plenty of health around us. Oh! Oh! Saw that, Jesus! It's an interesting sequence, I'll give them that! There you go. Uh, are we just gonna bust through that, I suppose? Okay. Little health bits at the bottom of us there. Perfect, okay. Those guys, it seems that if you if you do it in rapid succession, you can't recover from it. Okay, this is um, definitely unique. There it is. There it is. Get it, Jesse. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Did we do it? Okay. Wait, what? We're back? Yep. 
Did that really just happen? It felt like a dream. Or maybe a bad movie. Well, I mean, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? That is pretty awesome. We did it! Window magically repaired itself. Who knew, right? Okay, so we can take the elevator or what's through here? Ooh, what is through here? More papers to read and a crossing. Ah ha ha. Shift account part three. Ooh, we read these last time, didn't we? Let's have a look. Federal Bureau of Control. It's clear no one is coming. We're running out of ideas and supplies. We tried going into the caves to find anything edible, but all we found were noxious gases and endless pits. The crystals only let us go one way, even though we could see the caves be branched out. We did find some weird spiky pillar. I only got a glimpse of it before the astral spikes attacked. There were a few of them this time. We lost a lot of people. There's only six of us left. We didn't ask for this. We didn't want to come down here. I'm convinced something brought us here. The others say I'm going nuts, but it's clear that this was no house shift. Shifts slide a bathroom a sector over, or rotate a hallway. They don't drop a full division in some caves. We were brought here, I know it. But for what? Why tear us away from our lives just to torture us? If this is some sort of test or mission, then here's some advice for whoever's running it. Give out clear instructions next time. I hope these notes are a good read for whatever ranger finds them. Fudge you. Put that in your report, Gibbs. Okay, Gibbs was not happy, which I get that. Totally get that, dude. Totally get that. Anything else in here? Give that. Shifting fragment. What's this? Movie camera supplement. Here we go. This bloody movie camera. Okay. Action Max Camera AI80-UE. Background. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after a hospitalised mailman from Redacted, Arkansas, claimed his injuries had been caused by a movie camera. Further investigation connected the incident to AI-80, which was being shipped in the mail truck at the time. The package camera was later found in an empty warehouse. The return address led agents to a P.O. box located in the San Fernando Valley, belonging to a company called Blessed Pictures. Whether Blessed Pictures is involved in the creation, dissemination, and dissemination of the items VHS films is unknown. See investigation 13-HQ-612. The following is a list of all known films believed to have been shot by AI. 80-UE. Shoot first, die last, unreleased. Coffee Bullet, Billy's first car, bike hard, delivery disaster. So, of shoot first, die last, item was used in the filming of an unreleased western in 1968 on the Italian island of Sardinia. A cast member was killed during an onset accident, stopping production. It's believed that Blessed Pictures brought the camera when equipment from the shoot was sold at auction. Hmm. Interesting. Cursed camera. <sighs> God. <sighs> Anything else in here? No. All right. Okay, let's head back to this lift. See what's going on. I don't want to quite go across yet. I just want to uh, make sure we've crossed all the I's, dotted all the T's, and all that jazz. What's this? What's the good? Oh God! Kill it! Burn it with fire! Stupid thing! Ugh! Stinky! Ow! New language. Okay, well, we'll have a look at Ah. Okay, so what's new language, I wonder? Assets. New language. For immediate publication. I learned a brand new language. The fish taught me. You probably don't believe me, so I will prove it. Hulilel Muti. Jermiluab Os oh, Do you know what? Why am I even trying to read this? Whatever that says. See, please publish this letter and maybe other fish speakers will get in touch. They'll be able to read my address even if you can't. Jabini Rog, Larry Hubbard. 
Larry, I think you are also a few dinner plates shy of a set. So, right, let's um, cross this bridge as we've come to it. <laughs> Foolish. Okay. He's got in. Boom. The nail. Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail. What the hell was she thinking? Yes. And why, well, what was she thinking? Why did she do it? There must have been a reason, surely to God. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Oh, and here we are again. Here we are again. It's sus. See? Said. Said it was sus. I'm a refund, really. Not really much interesting. Okay, we are going to get All attacked right. here. I can feel this it. This is the last one. Let's have a little bit of a sniff round first, Jesse. We need to um, be sure that everything is tickety boo. Okay, here we go. Let's rock and roll, buckaroo. I can't believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. And she thought I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leave. End. What? Well, I... I what's, ah, here we go. Whew. Let's go, go, go. Yes, exactly. Oh my god. So... The whole place is falling a bit now. Good god. Yeah. Things should be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. <sighs> yeah, you hope. Jeez Louise. The pyramid. Astral entities. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? All right, let's head back to the foundation and um, the foundation. Crossroads here. There's the nail. Look at it. Wow. Oh, well, we made it back. Thank God. But we've done our work. Look at the nail now. I mean, it still doesn't look like a nail, really, does it? But, well, whatever. Right, folks, we are going to leave it there for today. Next time we will speak to Pope. And, uh, well, see if she has any answers for us. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. Hopefully she will. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>